Many tags are brief text descriptions in a web page source code that explains its content to search engines. Unlike visible tags on a page, meta tags are located in the HTML head section, making them only visible to search engines and those familiar with source code. The term meta refers to metadata, which is information about the data on your page, and they can help you achieve your SEO rankings. For example, if I open up the Nike source code website to find the metadata information, you will press Ctrl U or just press so right click, you page source, scroll down till you find the meta information. There it is, and they will look something like this. Adding meta tags to an element or WordPress website is essential for improving its search engine optimization and increasing click-through rates in search engine results. To add meta tags to your element or WordPress website, you can use either a plugin or manually edit the theme files. And here are the steps for both methods. Method number one is by using a plugin with Elementor Pro. You install and activate a plugin like Yoast, SEO, or Rank Math. In this video, I will show you the Rank Math plugin settings. So, the first step is to install the plugin. So, you move over to your WordPress dashboard and the plugins menu. Click to install a new plugin and you enter here a Rank Math keyword. is this one and it is by far my preferred one to install the plugin all you have to do is to click on it to install it and once it's done you click once more to activate the plugin is that simple in wordpress and you will enter here your rank method account details it's optional but I recommend you doing so because you are connecting your website with your Rank Math account and with the connection you will start seeing keywords and suggestions from Google right when you start typing your focus keyword and to provide you with an idea of what keywords people are using with similar words to the ones you typed and moreover if you activate the Rank Math Contents AI feature you will be able to use for keyword research in order to find relevant suggestions by using the free credits. So I go with the advanced mode to set my rank max settings. Click to start the wizard. This is a place where you define what is the website about. Click on the drop down to check what are the available options for you and you should choose the one who matches your website's purpose and there are seven available options personal blog community blog personal portfolio a personal a small business site and to be considered as a small business you must not be a franchise and you must have annual revenue less than 10 million dollars google will automatically opt in business a small business based on various signals including offer price and web traffic so if your website follows the signals select this option then we have the web shop for e-commerce websites who are selling only online products not physical ones for this example i will set mine to a web shop in the business type you can go with any of these extensive list to match your business there are a lot of options in the website name you should input the website name of course this is how your site will show up in search results in this option website alternate name you enter here an alternative version of the site name for example an acronym or a shortened name for example i can enter here as a double n which are the initials of my website name this option logo for google is to upload your logo and you should upload it in a square format with this dimension and this is actually what google uses to showcase your website next to Google search results page. For instance, if I enter in incognito mode and I will search for TripAdvisor, 
and here are the Google results and this is the logo image I'm talking about. So whenever your site is displayed on Google results page, this is the exact location from where your logo is pulled from. And then this option, the default social share image, you should add your default social share image. And this option is used as a fallback option when you don't actually set up a feature image on your blog post or your e-commerce product and someone shares it to any social media account. This means that if you haven't set up a feature image or e-commerce product, RankMed will use the image you upload here as a fallback thumbnail. Next up, we have the analytics where you connect your Google services and RankMath automates everything. So all you have to do is to connect the Google services to connect your site with Google Search Console and Google Analytics. I'm not going over this. Next up, we have the sitemaps where you define the sitemap configuration and you select which type of posts or pages you want to include in your sitemaps. And then the SEO tweaks tweaks available for you for some reason you want to go go back and finish the rank mat set its configuration you can click on this return to dashboard where you can use all the rank mat menu items and if for some reason you you have some people working with you as a team you can use this alternative option under users profile Scroll down to set up your rank math configurations. You can set here the general settings. You can set up here title, the description and the images of your post used when sharing on any social media. This is the rank math intuitive dashboard to access all of the rank math free options and this plugin approach is modular meaning you are able to enable or disable the modules as you need i have enabled these six modules for now the hookcommerce to optimize the commerce pages for search engines seo analyzer the schema which is the language used by the search engines the content AI, the image SEO, the instant indexing, and the local SEO. And you don't need to save your modules choices. Recently released a video about this topic. Is this one? where you can learn the steps to optimize SEO WooCommerce category page using RankMed. Check the video link in the description box. It's a 10 minutes tutorial video where I deeply explain you all the necessary steps to optimize it in a WooCommerce category page as well as how you can fix some basic SEO errors. Back to rank math, I have previously decided the focus SEO keyword. Let's say I'm selling Italian olive oil. I could simply type this key phrase into Google search engine. Then you scroll down to locate the searches to this, which will showcase similar key phrases. So what exactly is a focus keyword? The focus keyword is the term you want to rank for in search engines. When people search for that term, this one, this example here, they should find your post or page in order to rank well in Google and other search engines. You will need to do keyword research with the many available tools in order to make your life easier. One tool I use the most is the Google Planner tool, Keyword Planner. It's one of the best tools you can utilize to help you find relevant keywords as well as to find the competition keywords in order to be successful. Another comprehensive SEO tools I recommend is this SEMrush 
and hrefs. And now I want to mention some tips and tricks for you. So if you go to the general settings and then images, it's recommended to activate these two options alt head missing alt attributes, html attributes and for the title as well. And what it does is to display automatically all the HTML attribute that is relevant for images as it specifies an alternate text for the images when the image itself cannot be loaded without changing the meaning of the page content. And this is key for accessibility reasons. So this means if a user for some reason cannot view the image because of a slow connection or if it's using a screen reader then this text it will be displayed at the front end you could also enable or disable this function i'm using the free astra theme wherein the astra theme already has support for the break ramps function and this is where you tell rank Math the page labels archives format label moving on let's click now on the title and mira madam moving on let's now click on the titles and mira man and meta and underneath you have here the post types and then products woocommerce products is a custom post type and this is the exact spot where you can configure the single product title the single product description and the product archive title and description and has to schema type and this section determines how the default rich snippet will look like when creating a new product and schema is the language used by search engines to, to read your data I set mine to WooCommerce product next up I'm going to show you how to enter the SEO meta title the meta description and the focus keyword by using Elementor Site Builder. You already know what a focus keyword is. And my focus key phrase is latest woman shop. And this is the key phrase I want to target in Google search results page based in previously extensive keyword research. So I'm opening my homepage edits in Elementor and we now have this new tab called SEO and this is from Rank Math. So click on it and we are previewing a live preview on how the page looks like at the front end. So the title is what will show up in the first line and I enter my key phrase. And as you can see, we are receiving a red color here, a red color flag telling me that the meta title is not properly set up in order to rank in Google. So to rank higher in Google search results, I need to add more meaningful and high words based on my keyword research. So I enter my other target keywords, elegant, stern women shop online so i'm getting now a live preview and my color is changing and now it has become green color meaning that i'm doing a great job when it comes to seo optimization work i really hope you fully understand the process you should also add some variables from this drop down for example the separator so the green is darker and the search and the counter and you can remove it just pressing and delete it and once you're done you can preview on desktop view or on mobile as to SEO description, this does not have a direct impact on the home page SEO of the page, but it does have an important role to play for getting a higher click-through rate. What you write in the meta description field may be shown in the search results. So in your category descriptions, try to summarize your products and offerings. For example, if you offer free shipping, free returns and so on it say it on the description box to encourage users to click on your entry and method number two is by manually editing the theme files 
So from the WordPress admin dashboard, click on Appearance and then Theme File Editor. From this right sidebar, locate the header file. Open it up. You then have head here the necessary meta tags in the head section of the header PHP file, such as the title, the description, and the keywords. Once you are done, you save the changes and you upload the modified file back to your server. You can use Elementor Page Builder to generate HTML tags, which can be useful for adding structured data to your pages and improving SEO. However, the Elementor Page Builder does not have a built-in feature specifically for generating SEO tags like the title tags and description tags. Instead, you can use the following steps to add HTML tags to your Elementor templates. So, I'm opening my homepage and then you select a section, you convert this layout and then under the HTML tag you define here. By doing so, you can easily point button to the section and by doing so, you are making the code more accessible and understandable to search engines, browsers, as well as to assistive technologies. Each section should be identified typically by including a heading, H1 to H6 element as a child of the section element. For instance, this title should be a HTML tag as a H1 of this page. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Natalie. I will catch you in the next one.